Good day, YouTube. This is Cleese here, and uh, I, you know, I've made a video since before Christmas, so I figured, hey, why not make a video and show, basically show what I've been doing um, the last while, actually, a um, little over a month, just playing Minecraft and uh, having fun, actually. <clears throat> just load up now, this is my survival world as you can see right there created in survival mode I have it on peaceful just because while I'm running around and showing you guys I don't want any kind of trouble so just give me a second get it loaded and this is strictly a survival world no cheating um, no creative no anything no flying oh flying would have been handy sometimes um, as you can see I got the Star Wars pack um, and this is a uh, an outpost um, that I have it was a village uh, so I do a quick little run around uh, run around the village and this was my main base for a while, actually. That's why this is here. Um, but uh, <clears throat> this uh, this served its purpose. It's still an outpost. I still use it um, when I need to. Um, and as you can see, it's still all lit up and fortified. And just that way there, there's someplace safe. Um, this was my farm. I had, oh, geez, I can't even imagine how many pigs and cows and everything in here and a donkey yeah but yet to find a saddle though I would love to find a saddle and then of course there as you can see in the door there's a nether portal um, and this was this was going to be my main my main base um, that's why it's as fortified as it is um, only because the pit and uh, only one other person has been in this world um, they had they haven't built anything or helped me with anything. Everything I've done, it, done myself. Um, and when he got down here, uh, all he could say was, "Holy shit!" Um, and that's why this is called the pit. And this runs off. This is where I get all my stone. Um, this was this was storage. Uh, this was all double chests. Um, this is all that's left, and it was all cobblestone. At one point in this game, I had 50, close to 50,000 cobblestone um, that I had mined and just had in storage and from basically out of here and out of other spots that I've dug. And my buddy uh, he said, what, what are you going to do with it all? I didn't really have any ideas. So we'll just do a quick rundown in the pit. Um, this also breaks off this way too. Uh, and this is all dug out. This is what I do when I was bored. You just pick an area and uh, yeah, do stupid stuff like this. Um, and I grabbed all the stone because I'm transferring it. Ooh. Everything is lit. Everything is doors. Because the baddies like to jump up and bite your ass. Yeah, all of this. Right down to bedrock. So yeah, I was pretty bored. It took me about four days. Off and on. To dig this down. I was thinking I should have dug this part out too and I was gonna go back and do it and I was like you know what I think it looks fine the way it is um, the the whole part of the pit what started it all was I was looking for diamonds and I figured if I strip mined an area I'd be able to find at least a couple diamonds and I was lucky I found 13 
in this area, a bunch of lapis lazuli, or however you pronounce it, redstone. Jeez, redstone out the ass. I think I have eight 64 stacks, or had eight 64 stacks in this. Dug all this out. Um, and this, this continues on. This is the, the well in the town. And it just continues on. Opens into a ravine. It goes um, from there all the way down the other side because the, the town is actually on an island. Um, so it's... I was going to empty it all out. But yeah, it's... Uh, I was pretty bored when I did that. And it's called The Pit. I, I'm actually going to rename it The Abyss, I think. Because um, I have another spot I want to call The Pit. And I actually have it named The Abyss. Um, but I'll do that at another time. And then just fortified the buildings, you know what I mean? Um, all the villagers died within the first two days of finding this town, which sucked, but whatever. And as you can see, it's all surrounded by... Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's peaceful, right? I'm not going to worry about anything. Um, and uh, I hate having to try to find some place to sleep. I'll go through all that nonsense, you know, when I, especially when I'm, when I'm doing something or I have to go from here to someplace else and, oh, I gotta find some place to sleep or, you know, I mean, oh, it's nighttime, I have to wait till daytime because I don't want the baddies to kill me, especially if I'm, if I'm transporting, like, you know, I mean, I got a whole pile of stuff on me. I don't want to lose it if I die. Um, so, yeah, I built the, the land bridge. Um, out of boredom as well <coughs> and I had all that stone so this is the land bridge and uh, when I get to my main base I will uh, I'll show where everything's at on the map just just so to give you an idea um, this is where I harvest all my birch trees uh, this was like a really big forest um, was a really big forest uh, it took everything out I used a lot of birch um, I used a lot of wood, actually. And now we go up. A little off point here. And it's a massive birch forest. So what, what I actually took and used didn't even dent it. Thinking of building something over here. Not sure yet. <clears throat> <clears throat> this little place here is the the town that I started in the outpost. It's McSquizzy's Outpost and Farm, um, and that's what I had called it because it it was a home base, but I knew it wasn't going to be anything permanent, uh, so I just named it the Outpost. This is a manor, McSquizzy Manor. This is the first survival house that I built. Um, See, makes busy manner. Um, a bed upstairs. That's really all there is up here. Uh, kitchen area with chests. There was a lot more chests and everything in here at one point. A uh, little basement area. And this takes you off to a garden area. Um, this was how I was getting from the outpost to here. And you can see I had a tunnel. Uh, but I was still I was still pretty exposed from here to the land bridge to the bridge going over the water um, so I made this the the actual land bridge uh, just for 100% safety and if somebody is you know somebody else is playing too you don't have weapons you need to get from point A to point B why not have it as safe as possible right <clears throat> so this is the the manor and that's where I started the world I, I Made sure I had everything I needed there, and then once, once, uh, once I was set up, I had a house, a bed, lots of food. Then I started exploring, exploring, and as you can see, like there's there's stuff up there from when, from when I was working. I don't have my uh, nether rack lit yet, <clears throat> and then up more stairs. Now this. This bridge here, I originally called it the Road to Nowhere, um, if you're an Ozzy Osbourne fan. 
you'll know what the road to nowhere is and how the song goes and what it means. Um, if you're not, uh, then you're probably too young to be on the internet. And this here, and again, this is all survival. I don't know how many times I died building this crap. Lost so much stuff. Um, but then this is my main base coming up here uh, with my lighthouse that I built. Uh, my wizard's tower that's empty. Uh, another bridge that takes to the, the project I'm working on right now. But yeah, this is McSquizzy Mansion. And this is my main base. This is uh, my main base of operation with everything. Everything here is lit up, or it's going to be lit up. I don't have to worry about anything getting me in here. Uh, my rules, you know what I mean? And it's all common sense, too. Um, if it's worth having, work for it. You know, stay out of personal quarters and don't take shit that's not yours. Easy peasy rules, really. Um, broom closet. So you have a library. I'm slowly trying to, to get books to fill this up. Well, at least up to here anyways. <clears throat> uh, this is an empty bedroom. So if uh, you play PS3, you know, send me a message. The Harry Potter suite. It's just a, a room under the stairs. That was just for my own amusement, really. Um... Another door to go in. Stairs. Going down to the basement. This is my storage area. And yes, I label everything. Um, so I know exactly what's in it if I'm looking for stuff. This is my uh, kitchen area. It has a push button for food. Oh, there we go. And that's full. And we'll go upstairs. I feel like this should be like on MTV Cribs or something. <clears throat> uh, storage area. Uh, Mini McSquizzy, uh, my little guy, Vin, um, from Adventure with Vin. He has his own channel, which again is Adventures with Vin, um, where him and I just go on adventures and do, you know, unboxing and <clears throat> blind bags and stuff like that. It's something fun for him. He's three and a half, so he likes doing it. And it gives us something to do together. Uh, and, it, and it's kind of cute too. This is my personal quarters. Um, yeah, I have my place all pimped out because uh, I'm the only one that plays in here. Um, so here's the map I was talking about. Right where the X is at is where we're at right now. The outpost is way up here. So right here is where we started. Then the land bridge, and then we come across the manor is right here. And then down. And then there's, of course, the mansion. The white dot is the um, lighthouse. And this big red dot is the wizard tower. And what I'm working on right now actually isn't even on the map yet. So I'm going to need to grab a map so I can put that on the map. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> And we'll go to the other side of the mansion. Uh, unclaimed bedroom, storage. Just a great big room. No idea what we're going to do with it yet. Um, this is uh, my buddy. I haven't had a chance to play with him yet. He's on PS4, um, which I'm going to be upgrading hopefully in the next couple months. Um, but Frazier from Party Play Gaming. Um, he's got some pretty awesome videos. Um, he, he does a little bit of everything, uh, like Pokemon. Um, he does a, a thing called Fraser Finds um, for when he goes to like the swap meets and uh, uh, the different uh, the different gaming events and stuff like that, uh, which I don't go to because <clears throat> the little part of Canada I live in uh, we don't really get stuff like that here. Uh, all that fun stuff. I am in the middle of the Irish Hole of Canada. Uh, yeah. This is my uh, garden. Pumpkins, sugarcane, potatoes. Gotta have your potatoes. And infinite water. Authorized personnel only. Do not enter. This is my, uh, my personal area. 
absolutely no entry, stay out. Only because what's on the other side of that is extremely fortified and extremely hidden. And I don't need no noob screwing that up for me. Um, so I have my own private uh, area. <laughs> And then uh, there's the vault, which has more, more stuff, smelting furnace, and this is the abyss, um, which is what I want to call the pit. Uh, and this is another area that I just, it's like, hey, and it's right underneath the main area, um, right underneath my, my house, the mansion. Um, this here, as you can see, all along the walls, I don't know if you can see it that well, um, but that's all vines. Um, I'm farming vines of all things. Um, oh, auto save! Alright, so I'm farming vines because I need moss stone uh, for a project that I'm working on, and, and it's taking forever. I've been three days just on this project. Um, had I been in creative, it would have been done in a, like, no time. But survival is retarded hard at some points in some area aspects of the game so do what you gotta do right and of course this is four double chests full of cobblestone and I have four more double chests upstairs and that that's pretty much the end of the basement I'm sorry uh, and yeah, in here, in the storage, come on, Boba Fett, storage area, these four here are all cobblestone. Alright, so now, off to the new area, um, this takes you to the, the lighthouse, which you just work your way up. Once it starts, you don't need to go back up, so... And then I'll take you to the wizard tower. And you might be, you should get a glimpse actually of my m big project that I'm doing. I've been the last three days working on it. All because of the mossy stone. So, and there's the house, and there's the, the other thing. And you can see the. Can you see it from here? Oh, you can! Nice. Alright, and up the stairs. A lot of stairs. This wizard tower took me a day uh, to do all the uh, polished and andersite, or whatever it's called. Um, and it's completely unfurnished, just because I like building. I don't like furnishing. And up, up, and I'll call Rusty. And this is the very top. Top of the tower. I don't know which direction. Okay. This is the mansion. <clears throat> Took forever to build. I, it was two days. <sighs> two days doing the mansion only because of uh, glass. And I wasn't sure what kind of uh, roof I was doing. So I, I had to farm all of the, uh, the dark oak um, from a little forest, actually, just right over there, right handy to where I was at, so I didn't have to commute too far. You get pretty decent views up here. There's the other project. And uh, I hate doing the stairs down, so... So this takes you to, actually I'm pretty proud of it, um, three days. I started it and then I tore it down because I wasn't happy with the way it looked. Um, and it's the mossy stone, like I said, that's, that's kicking my ass. And there's so many times I wanted to cheat and just go to creative and finish it, but I know once it's finished, it's... There we are. 
my own personal Castle Grey Skull. And it's uh, all functional. It's down in the pit or the basement. All the rooms. And instead of having stairs, I uh, just have ladders. Uh, there's my snow golem. Just because it's a little dark in here, and it's nice to have somebody to have your back when you're playing by yourself. Uh, this is the area because it's not completely finished. Uh, but this is the area I'm going to have the, the, the throne um, that the sorceress would sit in. Of course, a little area where you would view and go up. And this, um, this is from just pictures. You know what I mean? Like, this is where the throne would be here. Um, I based the whole design off of uh, a picture uh, that I seen or that I uh, that I saw on the internet uh, of the uh, the little statue that you can get um, the three dimensional one that has the back and everything it's, it's fairly expensive and uh, I always liked the way it looks so I kinda tried to base this off of that Ooh, don't fall. And as you can see, like I tried doing the the spine up the back. Here, don't fall. But yeah, this is kind of what I do. You know, you see me online, and so yeah. And then of course the upstairs there. See if I can get someplace else where you can get a little bit better view. Yeah, three days. Not looking for an award or a pat in the back. I'm actually really proud of it, but yeah. It's uh, a labor of love, we'll say. It's because I'm a huge He-Man fan. I have been since the show come out. Uh, but there's the, the back side with the tower. And then the but yeah, this is uh, this is one of the worlds that I I play, and this is the one I've been playing in a lot lately. Actually, just because I've been having like brainstorming all this different ideas and my like my bridge that has all the nether rack on it. Um, I'll scoot around and the land bridge. I'm at, I was actually I'm in process of uh, making it look the same way. Give me two seconds. And this is why flying would be so easy. Would make life easy. And the way the bridge is designed. Um, and that's how I'm trying. I'm going to do the whole land bridge, as you can see over there. I had started it, but it's, it's very tedious, and you die. And you die, and you die, and I get tired of dying, so I just start on something else, and then go back to it. So, but yeah, this is uh, this is uh, this is what I do. You know what I mean? Anywho, thanks for watching, and uh, like I said, uh, follow me on Twitter, look for me on Facebook. I'm on PS3, Cletus underscore McSquizzy, it's my name. Um, so yeah, add me, and uh, if you have P uh, Minecraft, you know, maybe we'll play together. Anyways. Thanks for watching, and uh, like, comment, and subscribe.